and I'm here at California Extreme. It's uh, July 16th. Uh, there's a big arcade and pinball show, and these guys are running away from me. Um, uh, so there's going to be like 400 pinball and arcade machines here, and they also are showing Joysticks the Movie, which is a cold classic movie from the 80s. Um, where the kids save their local arcade by playing video games on a giant joystick. So I built a giant joystick for the event that actually plays video games and this is how I did it. This is a uh, lamp cover from Home Depot. It's just a plastic lamp cover. I drilled some holes to put some, some uh, switches in here. And then inside, I put an RGB flashing circuit, pretty simple, and uh, you can kind of see the, the cool effects with the, the wires, because the LEDs are spread apart on a circuit board in there. Um, at the bottom is the circuit board for the, the flasher. Um, I used some reducers, um, PVC pipe reducers, uh, I think this is like 3 inch down to a 2 inch. Um, pipe and down in here I have some more PVC pipe reducers and a sphere which is another lamp cover that I, I just cut a bigger hole in the top so it would cover up all the mechanics of it. Um, down inside there's four cherry switches for each um, direction. Um, there's some set screws that hold the uh, pipe reducer to um, another reducer which happens to make a nice um, ball joint for the joystick. Um, I put a screw in the side that goes into the shaft that limits the rotation so the wires that come down from the switches and the, the flashing circuit don't get ripped off. Um, on the normally um, closed part of the the cherry switches I hooked an LED and resistor circuit so I can use it for debugging to make sure that when I push the the joystick shaft over the switch is actually opening and closing correctly. Um, I cut some acrylic discs to give some accent here and uh, glued some red LEDs to illuminate the, the sphere here. And uh, I also added some LEDs and some more acrylic to make it look like it's a launch pad. Um, you know, got ready to take off. Um, it got the name The Packinator from a friend to uh, Robot Girl who was uh, uh, watching me build it and, and I think it's a perfect name for it. Um, the guts of the machine is a um, PC power supply to supply the voltage for the Multi Williams board. Over here behind is the Multi Williams board that I helped design a few years ago that has an ARM7 processor and ASIC that I designed um, four megs of flash and uh, a little bit of RAM and some miscellaneous stuff on it. That was done by Clay and Matt. Um, it was sold as uh, uh, my uh, my big electronic games. I think was the title. It was the Multi Williams Home Arcade, which flopped. So there's the board running. Um, I have it hooked up to a big LCD. So if I if I uh, choose a game here, let's try Satan Hollow. That's what they used in the actual movie. Okay, our fire button. Playing it here. So that's it. Um, if you're in the area and you're seeing this and it's uh, 2010, come down to California Extreme. Um, it's in Santa Clara. The website caextreme.com and uh, play this uh, this joystick. It's all weekend. All right. See you guys.